this week with a really busy and crazy week in tech. And I'm going to keep you up to date in under 10 minutes to cover everything that happened in tech this week from AI, coding, big tech, and obviously a lot of controversy. I mean, that's tech's very spicy as of lately. What's, is there like a, sp no, that's salty. I was thinking of, you know, Salt Bay. You can say salty. Text and salty. All right, let's get into it. Enough of me chit chatting. Well, I guess I'm going to be chatting the entire video, but you get the point. Let's go. First on the list, this one literally just happened. Uh, there's a lot of news reporting about it since yesterday, which is Elon Musk enjoys a cigar as Joe Rogan fires arrows at the Tesla cyber truck. Now, this is one way to market, I guess. I mean, at the end of the day, it's getting a lot of headlines and the whole premise is here. Elon Musk sat down with Joe Rogan, went on his podcast and part of this whole marketing, I guess, scheme to get people to watch this podcast is promoting the Tesla truck. Which brings me back to the question I asked in an earlier video with Tech News. Would you, okay. Which brings me back to an earlier question I did in one of these Tech News videos, which is, are you interested in the Tesla Cybertruck? I mean, now it has us talking about it again. All right, it's official. LinkedIn has entered into the AI game and this is actually kind of cool. I was watching their demo, which I'll put up on screen here. And essentially what it will do is their AI based, it's called takeaways feature, will allow you to have a better understanding as to what you can do to position yourself for a job posting, uh, get more questions on it. Like for example, who works at this company? This is pretty cool if you ask me. I think it actually will be pretty useful. I feel like a lot of people are really jumping on the AI train just to say, they have an AI product or are using generative AI in their product, but this seems pretty useful. Now it's important to note this feature, as of now anyways, is only available for premium users. So if you are not a premium user or member, would this entice you to become one? I currently am one for the only reason that when I first signed up to LinkedIn or they had a promotion of, you know, become a premium member, so I did. And then since then I've just forgot to take it off, but I need to do that because I don't use the features or maybe I don't need to do that because of this now. Takeaway just literally just launched and they're calling it an AI powered coaching. So it's within the e-learning platform, LinkedIn learning, but you can use it when you are sifting through job postings. This seems like it'd be pretty useful to purchase premium for when you are actually in the midst of job hunting. If you are just kind of sifting around, it might not be worth it. Amazon is in a bit of hot water, well, a bit might be an understatement, is in hot water right now. And this is due to the fact that allegedly Amazon made 1 billion, that's a lot of money, through secret price raising algorithm. Now, this actually is not a new case that has been going on. Uh, the lawsuit by the FTC was filed in September, but many details were withheld until Thursday. That's why we're really hearing about this now. So here's the summary of what they're saying or accusing allegedly, gotta say the alleged part, you know, of what Amazon had done. So they are saying they created a secret algorithm internally and the code was called Project Nessie to identify specific products for which it predicts other online stores will follow Amazon price increases. So Amazon will use Project Nessie to extract more than $1 billion directly from American pocketbooks. This is according to the FTC. Now on the flip side of this, we have an Amazon spokesperson uh, who is Tim Doyle and they are saying the FTC grossly mischaracterized the pricing tool and the code and what the purpose was. So he goes on to say that the purpose of this was, or purpose of Nessie, was to try and stop our price matching from resulting in unusual outcomes where prices became so low they were unsustainable. So you can kind of see their side here based on that, but I'm curious to hear your take. Do you think what Doyle is saying is actually their intention and behind the code or do you think the FTC is onto something? Leave in the comments. All right, next up is for anyone out there who is really obsessed or curious with new AI tools. I know I'm one of those people. I love seeing how quickly these tools are evolving, what is available, especially as a creator. There is the code side of things as well, where there's so many code assistants, writing assistants, and then too, there's this creation side, which I find fascinating. I feel like we've really nailed it when it comes to images or are getting close to nailing it anyways. Where I do expect and hope to see a lot of growth is with videos. I know Adobe is working on on, they have their generative AI for images and now they're working on it for videos, which is going to completely, completely 
change content as we know it. But until that day happens, which I'm sure will be very soon, I wanted to share with you another company, Stability AI, who I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Now this company is Stability AI, and I'm sure most of you are familiar with it. They're considered a startup, but honestly, they are a massive company at this point. I'm curious to know what they're worth. Let's Google it. Okay, well, they're valued at $1 billion, so startup or not, they're big. They got some big money behind them, and they're coming out with a new tool. Now, this tool, it's an app, they're calling it, that generates textured 3D objects in a matter of seconds. Now, check out this image here on screen. I'll put it on. It's, it's an example from them of 3D models that are generated with their new stable 3D tool. I mean, it's pretty incredible. It's it's pretty spot on if you ask me, and it's just the beginning. I always come back to, and I know this saying is so overused, but I always come back to, tech today is the worst it will ever be. When we think about how far we've come in the past year, it's pretty incredible. And this is another step forward. So this is not available to the public yet. I did wanna share it with you though, because I know you love to be the first to hear about new tools, and this will be coming to the public very soon. Right now, it's available for a very select private group of users, but keep your eye out on this, because I think this will be a huge game changer. Even for the world of video games, I can see so many use cases for this. What does that mean for video game developers? I'm just kidding. It means they're gonna have a great job. Now, we started with Elon Musk, and I guess we're ending with Elon Musk, whether we like it or not, he's once again in the news. But this I found really interesting. I found this interesting because out of many different kind of wild things I know he can be doing, one thing I think that is really interesting and a positive thing that he spends a lot of time on is advocating for AI regulations. Musk recently sat down with the British Prime Minister in a conversation that really dove into the dangers or potential da dangers with AI and what needs to be done to ensure there are proper regulations around it. One of the quotes that I really liked from him was, I'm glad to see at this point, people are taking AI seriously. And then he goes on to say, thanks for the summit, referring to the AI summit, the AI safety summit that was put on. I think it will go down in history as quite important. So it's really interesting. I know himself and many others have been sharing a lot about the potential dangers of AI. And I think for many of us, it's hard to see those potential dangers because right now in our day-to-day -day lives, it's packaged up as these really cute little tools that you can, you know, put your face on different characters or change your outfit. So we kind of lose sight as to what this technology actually is at its core and what the capabilities of it or possibilities as it continues to grow really are. All right. That is the top five biggest things to happen in tech this past week. I hope you really learned something new. For me, when I was doing this research, one of the things that I didn't hear about from any other you know, social media that was sharing about tech news or anything like that was the LinkedIn coach. So I'm curious to hear, is there something new that you learned today? Leave in the comments. Let me know if you like these tech roundups. I really like doing them. It's a really quick and easy way to stay updated on all things tech. All right, now I'm actually getting a bit sushi. Bye everyone.